Uh, I work as a software engineer. Most of my experience is with Goland. Uh, yeah. I have five years uh, of experience and almost a year with uh, software. Uh, currently, the client with I work with, uh, I use Go, Kubernetes, uh, Kafka, Postgres, Redis, and other interesting tools. Uh, I'm from Oaxaca, Mexico, and well, let's start. Uh, today, we will talk about uh, how to use Docker tests for testing. Okay, first, let's take a look to the agenda. Uh, we will see the importance of unit testing, the importance of integration testing, what is Docker, what is Docker and Docker test and how to use it, a uh, different use case, Docker test versus Docker Compose, and a conclusion. Okay. Uh, in software development, uh, where even a misplaced character can break an entire application, uh, testing is essential, has bugs can be detected before the final product is delivered to the client. So those guarantee the quality of the product. Uh, now let's take a look to uh, unit testing. Uh, unit tests focus on a single part of the whole application in total isolation, uh, usually a single class or function. Uh, a key factor that makes unit testing a good choice for developers is the execution speed. Since tests should be free of side effects and you will want to run them directly without involving any other system. Uh, Ideally, uh, this includes no dependencies on the underlying system operating, uh, such as um, the file access, file system access or uh, network capabilities. But in, pr in practice, we will have some dependencies. Uh, other dependencies can be swapped up to allow for testing in insulation. Uh, this process is called mocking. We will take a look uh, about this process. And now, here is an example of a, a function, a small function to zoom two integers and, and a small test table driving, a tra tra table driving test, sorry. And this is the, the common uh, um, use of, of tests. We will have a, the arguments, a name for the test, and we, we will expect a, a specific result. So we will uh, compare the the obtainer response and with the expected result and depends on this we will uh, validate and do and do some measures for validate the results um, also let's take a look to the first principle of testing there are five and 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 this is something that we have to consider uh, at the moment that we want to do tests uh, fast Test should run and show you the desired output in in matter of seconds. Uh, isolated, it should be independent of everything. Else, should know that the results is not influenced by any other factor. Uh, should follow the three A's of testing: arrange, act, assert. Uh, arrange is that we we will need to have ready our, our data before doing the test. Act is about uh, we will test the uh, uh, we will test an, an specific function. Uh, and answer. Uh, so the result that we got uh, for the test uh, should be compared and validated. Also, should be repeatable. Uh, so the test every, every time that we run the, the test uh, should um, provide the same the same results. Uh, so that means that it doesn't matter in the environment. And each test should set up its own data and should not depend on any external factors to run it test. And also set validating. Uh, we don't need to check manually the, 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 the test if it is passed or not. Also, Go provides the enough tools for, for CD the results of testing. And, and also the last one, thought. Uh, there are a few things to cover uh, for this principle. Uh, should cover all the happy paths, uh, try to cover in all the edge cases. Uh, we also have to test illegal arguments and variables, uh, test for security and other issues, uh, test for lar large values. Uh, we, will, we will have to, to know how we're gonna handle the, the results. So uh, we should try to cover all the, every test case in the scenario and not just focus on, on, the, on the percent of the coverage. Okay, and now is when comes the importance of integration testing. 
of the how you mentioned the isolation the isolation property of, of unit tests may be not enough for some functions. In this case, one solution is test how parts of the application work together as a whole. Uh, this approach is called integration testing. Uh, so that means if we have a depend if we have a dependency as a DB, a HTTP client or JavaScript client, we will need to have these uh, all these dependencies service uh, running for be able to do uh, a real test. <laughs> As I mentioned, integration tests deal with multiple factors of your application. Uh, now let's talk about Docker. We was we Docker. Uh, the topic of Docker is really uh, uh, long, so we gonna you will we we just gonna focus on on the on why it's important and very useful for for our testing. Uh, Docker containers can help us to create portable environments that we, that we can see data with, run tests, and then discard after we get our results. So we were able to, for example, uh, prepare our DB, uh, run the test, and after that, uh, close the, 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 the container. Okay. Uh, Docker test is, the, is, the, is a library. It's a library that 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 gonna allow us to to facilitate the integration test. Uh, we will be able to uh, run uh, different um, in this case data database. Uh, for example, we will be able to to run a um, a PostgreSQL, a Redis, Kafka, and also we can run a fake a GCP service or AWS AWS service. So they will uh, uh, provide an easy an, an easy way to to spin up Docker containers and using them for our tests. Okay, now let's let's move to the code. Okay, uh, first uh, let's take a, uh, a quick look to the project. Uh, I'm using Golan ID. Uh, I'm using gRPC framework for generate the server. Also, I am using um, Postgres, PostgreSQL. Uh, Gore has object relational model. And well, and, uh, here we want to have a, just uh, a small DB. We have a table, a context table, and we will, we will store uh, some. Mm, values for the for the contact. Uh, other thing that we're gonna use is uh, the migrate uh, migrate library. Uh, this library uh, provides an easy way to run the drum uh, DB scripts for prepare or DB. And also another important thing that we're gonna use is let me go there. Mm. Is we want to use uh, main test, uh, test main. Uh, this is a different uh, approach for for main for test. Sorry, uh, main test uh, will allow us uh, to prepare uh, the the test before run. So in this case, we want to uh, uh, generate the, the client for Postgres before run all the tests, and after the test run. We will uh, close the uh, stop the the container. Uh, sorry. Uh, first, let's take a look to uh, the the usual approach for when uh, for when we have uh, dependencies. In this case, ADB. So what we usually do in this case is mock is mock the the DB. Uh, for this, we will need to to in this case. Well, let's take a look to the to the function that we want to test. Uh, here is a simple server. We have a DB. Uh, we are sending this uh, as argument. This will return a, a server. And here we will have uh, two functions, one for read, read a contact. We will send only the, the ID that, that we, we want. And we are doing some valid, uh, small validations. Then we want to call the 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 get contact function 
we are going to send the context, the ID. Uh, we are going to validate the error. So the, is there an error? We will validate. This is just this print line is just for demo purpose. And also we want to validate the, the error. Is there a record not found? And the normal error. Okay, if the, if all is uh, valid without uh, errors, we want to send the, the contact. And also we want to have the create function. Uh, for this, we will uh, expect a, a contact. Uh, we will take we will do a few validations, uh, and then we will create uh, we will call the create contact function, and we will send the the, the payload. And then we want to validate is there an error, and if there are not, we will send the the created contact. And for be able to mock, we will need to um, to use interface. And so in this case, I have this DB interface. We uh, here we have just two functions: create, get contact and create contact. Okay, uh, here is the the function that, that I'm using: get contact and create contact. I'm doing some some queries for uh, for get the ID. And here I'm I'm using uh, the, the defaults method that that, that the Go library provides for create the the contact. Uh, and, and for mock, what I'm doing is using the um, mock ten go mock library. Uh, this will uh, generate uh, and automatically uh, the the strokes and the methods that we need to to use for uh, implement the the, the interface. Uh, here's an, an the example using this mock DB. What we usually do is, uh, well, let's take a look to the uh, test read mocking. For this, um, we we will have a create. We will need a controller. Uh, we start the mock. Uh, then we create the the server, uh, and we will uh, expect some some calls to get contact. And this is the this will be the the expected uh, calls that we want to do when we call the, the get contact function. So, and also for this, uh, we will uh, define uh, some arguments, the context and the request. That is the ID of the contact that we want to to, to get. Uh, this is a, um, uh, this, these are the, the unit tests, one for a valid read and one for the content not found. Uh, for the valid read, uh, we want to uh, start the context, uh, the ID of that we want. Uh, for this uh, unit test, we don't want an error, and we want this uh, contact for res for for response. And the other is for content not found. Uh, I'm sending an ID that do that doesn't exist, and here we want an error, and I'm comparing the uh, I, I I will compare the the expected error with the with the result obtained. So here uh, I'm doing a four for the range of, of tests. And here I'm calling the read function and comparing the, the values with the values that, 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 that I expect. Uh, <clears throat> House mentioned uh, sometimes is um, is is converse come to, to mock every function, every call. And also uh, a problem to to use this approach is that we have to mock every every response. So uh, and and this this one allow allow us to to do a, a, a real test, a valid test. Because for example, here here I'm, I'm mocking the the response, and in, in practice we will want to know which is the uh, real error that we want to to receive. Uh, so that that's where the Docker test library comes. With Docker library, the, uh, we will be able to um, to to run a, a real uh, database, and we were able to to create in the, in this case for the the server, we will want to send a real a real DB. So all the errors and all the response uh, will have a, a, a valid data. Um, now comparing uh, the use Docker Docker test library with uh, with a uh, Docker Compose, 
there are um, at the end we can just run a, a Docker Compose. Let's move to a, to a Docker Compose that I have. We can run a, a DB in the Docker Compose, and we will have a, a valid a database. But the, diff, the, the the real difference is that we that with a Docker test we will be able to do to this without dependencies. I mean, at the end, the Docker Compose will be a dependencies, external dependencies, and and for be able to do to to improve our test, we can do this in the same code uh, using the test main. We can we will be able to to prepare the the PostgreSQL. We will be able to run the test and then uh, we we can close it without problems. So this remove this dependency. We were able to have a complete control of our test. And also um, this using Docker test is 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 quite simple and very fast. So now let's take a look to the to the when we are creating the client to the create client function. Uh, here I, I'm returning the a pool, a resource, and the DB. Uh, um, some of this code was taken from the from the documentation. It's it's quite simple. We will uh, just create the the Docker client. We, we do a ping. Uh, here, here, how I mentioned, we can uh, use a different uh, image. Here we are using Postgres, but we can use another DB, uh, Redis, Kafka, uh, and we can uh, and another uh, any any DB. Uh, we are doing the we are uh, pulling the image. Uh, we start the connection. We set some environment variables, and then we are connecting to the to the DB. To the and here uh, also some something that we. Need to consider is to add an, exp ex an expire time for the for the container. Uh, this this is something recommended by the library to to put an expire time for uh, hard kill the container in in case that the the close function uh, fail or something something like that. Also for the connection, we are just having an exponential back of ret retry. In case that the when we then when we then when we try to connect to the DB is not is not ready for connection. Uh, here we are open the connection. Uh, we are doing a pin and validating the error. Okay. Uh, how I mentioned, we are also using the migrate library. Uh, with this uh, library, we will prepare uh, our DB. So. Um, this is we are just taking the the path, the current path. Uh, we are uh, specifying the 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 folder that we're gonna where we have these uh, scripts. Uh, we are uh, starting the the migrate, and here we are just uh, setting up the 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 DB. Uh, this is the the script. I mentioned the the uh, contact table. Uh, here we here we gonna store the the contact data. Mm, let, let me show you. Mm. Uh, here I'm just going to to run. I'm, I'm using colon ID. Uh, this provide uh, some, some advantages. It's very is very easy to run the test. Here I just run the 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 whole package. Just for see the the results that we are getting, has 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 we we can see in the logs that we are connecting to the database. This is the URL, so all is working fine. So the DB is running, and here I'm running the the test. But now let's take a a detailed look to 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 the functions. I I create a a variable for store the DB. DB. This is the name. In here, uh, I'm starting the server with this uh, positive DB. Uh, I'm inserting all the, the records that I need. In this case, it's for read. So I'm inserting the, the value that I want to read. Uh, the ID is five. So that, that's the ID that I'm, I'm going to use. Uh, also, I'm, here is where I'm inserting the, these records. We are, I'm, I'm just reading the 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 records and inserting has uh, has a, a raw SQL a, a raw query sorry and well uh, I have to test 
one for a, a valid uh, response. Uh, here I'm, I'm, I'm setting uh, the arguments. Uh, here is the context. This is a simple context and the ID that I want to request. And here I, I don't want an error, so it's false. And this is the expected content that, that I want. And other for the content not found, uh, this ID doesn't exist. So this will return an, an error. And here we expect an, uh, an error. And this is the expected uh, error response that, that, that we want. Similar to the mock, uh, I'm running all the, all the tests and validating the, the, the error and the obtaining response, comparing with the, the expected response that, that we define. And one advantage of using Colon ID is that we can uh, run each test manually, di di I mean directly in, in, with the interface. Here are some logs that that um, for uh, for validate that the DB is, is working. So here is the the valid read, and this is a um, the as we mentioned in the um, in the first principle of testing, we we were able to see if the 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 test pass or not. Uh, another important thing to to consider is, for example, how I know that this is the expected response. Is because in the in the read function, I define this. I'm validating the, the error that we are receiving from the DB, and if it's, in, it's equal to goal error record not found, I will return a specific response. Uh, how I mentioned, I'm using goal uh, sorry uh, gRPC, so I'm I'm sending how the uh, I'm using the status library that uh, it's part of. Is how we need to is the library that we that help us for, to define the um, a correct uh, format for errors. Okay, now let's move to the create a test. Mm, it's, it's similar to the read function to the read function test. Uh, here the reference is that we want to call the create a function. Uh, we we here we the difference is that we need to send a, a contact that we want to create. This is the first name, last name, email, and home address. Uh, for this, uh, I want to well, if we take a look to the contacts table, uh, we will see that we define a, an email has a, a unique. This is the constraint that we define, so we cannot have a repeated uh, emails. So, well. Uh, uh, for that, we will uh, create a, a new test for validate that. Um, here in the create create in the valid create, we are sending a, a contact, and we expect this contact back. We don't want an error, and the expected error should be nil. So let's run this this test and see the outputs. Okay, it's working. Now let's do a, another test. I have some some code already. Okay, uh, this is uh, the name of the test will be invalid create. A name already exists. Uh, here the arguments is that uh, gonna say a first name, last name, email. But this email test to at email is already inserted, so we we will receive an error. Uh, so we want an error, yes. And the expected error, uh, let's define it. Uh, the value should be the same that we define in the create function. In this case, when we have a duplicate email, we're validating, we will send a, a invalid argument and a, a duplicate and duplicate email message. So we will define the status, the code, and this is invalid argument because we are sending an email that already exists. And for the message, we are returning the error duplicate message. Mm, so here, when we call the create function, uh, we will uh, assert that the error that we 
got from the got from the call is the same that we define in has expected a uh, error. Oh, I'm taking a look to the to the chat. Uh, last last made a comment from a security perspective. Never do this because it may lead to exposing emails by using it with the service. Just return success. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you for the for the comment. Uh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm 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 just um, doing some some tests. This is just for for demo purpose. Um, I'm not using the uh, all the the validations. I'm not using uh, um, web uh, tokens, and so this is for so just for demo and for be for be simple. But yeah, that's correct. Uh, okay, let's run the the test. We are connecting to the database. Uh, here is a log from the DB. So as we expected, uh, this is the, the error that, that's come from the, the DB when we try to insert an email that already exists. Okay. Uh, how mentioned the use the Docker test library is 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 pretty simple and also allows to have the the whole control of the test uh, using the the main the test main we will able to prepare uh, the DB we don't need to comparing has with Docker Compose we don't need to uh, run run and then stop we don't have to do this uh, configuration these steps so this is. Uh, simple and also lots of very fast. Um, ha, as we see, is working as we expected. And well, I I I I I think that's it for the 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 presentation. So uh, if we have uh, comments or questions, uh, feel free to to ask. You guys, if uh, have uh, someone has question, please unmute and ask question. <laughs> <laughs>